Rich, kind of a follow-up question from our previous conversation. Do you think that creating content will help the personal branding of the person? And if you can elaborate, what does that mean to have authentic personal brand these days on social media? Yeah, having an authentic personal brand is, is, I would say, very, very important. There's some people out there that say, if you're not on social media, you don't exist, uh, which is, was certainly an interesting take. But uh, content is king. Uh, you know, you are competing with a lot of other people in a lot of different me uh, mechanisms to, to be visible and to stand out. Creating content is, is one of those ways. Um, however, like, how can you stand out by making better content? I'm a, a huge advocate on video. You can't hide who you are on video. Mm -hmm. you, and if you practice and, and it's very rigid, you will eventually kind of break free of that. But let people see you. Okay, like punch fear in the face is what I always like to say. And, and just, just press record, make a video, a minute or less, once a week, once a day, whatever it may be, and just start practicing getting comfortable. Now, the reason uh, using cr creating content to have a personal brand is so important is because half of the entire world uses the internet. Mm -hmm. And I forget the stat, it's, it's unbelievable, but the average social media consumer spends two hours and 50 minutes a day on social media. Okay, so you have to think of, of, of the time they spend on their phone or on their computer just kind of looking around. And if any of them are on LinkedIn and spending a significant amount of time there or Instagram or Facebook or, or whatever it may be, you have to put yourself in a position to become visible. Um, so the now how do you do that by having an authentic brand is by just being you. That sounds like the most ridiculously simple advice, but it is what people do wrong the most. Um, people really try and be buttoned up and have the perfect message, the perfect take, the perfect words, and the perfect light, and the perfect sound, and, and that's not it. Chalene Johnson, uh, in one of my recent interviews with her, she, she says, we are all, sometimes people spend that much time because they are just looking for the real person, the authentic person, the person not trying to sell, the person looking to contribute to the conversation, the, per the person looking to add value to that industry. And, and that's why it matters. So, so content is absolutely king. And, and like I said, it's, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. Your personal brand on social media or your content is a portfolio into who you are. A resume at some point, and you know this, a resume is a resume. But if I happen to Google you and I see that you're very active on LinkedIn or that you have YouTube videos and that you're trying to actually contribute in a bigger way than just a job, I have a portfolio of your history to kind of look at and see your takes on it and be like, wow, this individual is really you know, going for it. This person is really putting themselves out there. This person is unafraid. This person has strong beliefs. This person has good core values. I'd like to talk to them. Yeah. I totally agree with you. And again, Claude also mentioned in one of when I was interviewing her, be you, be yourself. Don't put yourself in a box. Just be you and be authentic. And I feel that that's very, very important. Yes, 100%. Thank you for that tip, Rich. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of how to create a personal brand, especially for job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for my final question with Rich.